Hi guys. In the first part of BMW cinematic tutorial series, I want to talk about a uh, car paint shader and want to show you around the scene. And I want to emphasize that how simplicity can help. If you look at the cooking tutorial and you see the chef use a lot of ingredients in it, the result will definitely be bad. That's all the same, all is here. And the secret of good works is its simplicity. Okay, as you can see, uh, I used a really simple scene. A simple white box just for some shadows. And it can work as a reflector, some basic assets from Quixel, and then I enable it also for my car. And let me show you the difference with that cube and without that. As you can see, we can create better shadows there, which can help. I will talk about lighting and another stuff also in the next parts, glass material, uh, my lighting setup and the sequences. Okay, let's create our car, car paint material. Assign to the slot, body slot. As you can see in the base form, it's not bad really, but we need to do something more to achieve a better result. The first thing I'm doing here is set to shading mode to Clear cult. Which design for card paint material. And as you can see, there is another extra layer for my material. And another extra roughness there for second coat. The lighting is really important for uh, glossy materials and interaction of the scene uh, with the materials is really important. Okay, first of all for uh, carpet material, I want to use Ferno function, which you can see also in real life. For this specific material, I'm using a black color for B channel on LERP. And want to control uh, the color directly with A. Okay, let's set our metallic and roughness also. A scalar parameters note. And because I want to use instance material. And of course, for uh, clear cold roughness, that's really important part. Okay, as you can see, we have a really nice base material here, but we need to do something more. 
this is the most basic way which you can create a car paint shader. I can make it so complex with a lot of node, but I'm avoiding that because it's simple and nice results, which is enough for us. I want to desaturate the color a bit. I want to use another color for flex color basically. And we need a uh, bitmap here so we need a map uh, to control flex yeah here add it to the material editor and we're using as a map here Let's control UVW first. Multiply node and scalar parameters. Oh, let me disable DOF so we can see it better. That's all we don't need a thousand nodes. You can do it, but we are following simplicity. I would like to add also a normal map for flakes, uh, which can make it more realistic.
and as you can see that really can work and that's nice results uh, you don't need anything else for car paint basically I believe we made a good and simple material car paint don't forget to make details for reflection that's that's a key that's really important please subscribe our channel and stay tuned for next part uh, be care of yourself and goodbye